So I usually wake up around 2 a.m. Uh, for me, this is five hours each way. I was here at 7.02. You arrive here on station and um, Bill pulls up and he's got the trailer with all the gear in it. We can pay it forward, we can pay it back. It's a chance to serve. They're gonna be doing some pretty crazy stuff later and they're certainly doing crazy stuff now. It gets a little crazy, but we have, we have organized chaos. We have a great team here. It's the people. This really is a club of leaders. We really have an amazing array of global recipes here, but it's all home-cooked meals. Don't go to Costco, don't go to Walmart. They don't want it, and we don't want to serve it. We're going to make sure every last man gets fed. There is a path to why this works. I believe it is in its simplicity. We go directly to the service. It's just pure love and goodness. It's almost magical. We had a, a logo and a slogan, which we called the miracle on asphalt. We have no budget to do this. And we've been doing tailgates since 1982 to serve the brigade. Once the game lets out and the, the mids are saying the blue and gold, we, we tell the parents to mend the rails. You'll hear me in the background, I'll say, man the rails, man the rails, man the rails. And it's a call for the parents to man the stations. They literally run here. It's a rush. It's a rush. They, they want to get here, and we can't wait for them to get here. When we hear the game end, and, and we hear blue and gold, we're all ready to go, and, and we can't wait for them to get here. We leave here knowing we did something for a kid who might not go home for a couple months or might be deployed and not home for another six or eight months or a year. What we do today carries around the world and into their lives. They know Americans consider them an asset and love them to death wherever they go.